Basic character movements we have in movies who include a step in a direction, turning a direction, or moving a direction, such as step forward, step forward, turn to the character's left, turn to the character's right, move to the character's right. Watch out for the camera. Move to the character's left. Full 180. And again. Before we actually do some walking direction, we need to uh, consider the details of the movie zoo setup. How do we record a walking action? We select our character. In the menu, we select direct character movement. We decide what type of walking we want. For example, is it normal, only walk or only run? Consider where is the playhead on the timeline? Is it where we want it to be to record the uh, motion that we're planning to do? Now, well, you might consider we're ready to record, but there are a couple other things you might want to practice considering, such as what is the path I'm planning to take this character through? What objects are in my road? How far out am I planning to walk my character? And importantly, where, uh, will, the where will the movement actually end? Where do I want my character to end up? And also, you might want to consider, do I have cameras set up? and keyframe to record the motion after all this is video now we're ready to record In Movie Zoo, there are three modes of walking normal, only walk, and only run. For normal, you'll notice the color of <clears throat> the arrow as you drag uh, your character for his walk. It's because running is a mixture of uh, our. Normal is a mixture of walking and running. Right now it's green for walking and it turns red for running because I'm moving the arrow faster and he ends up where I want him to. Okay. The dots on the floor are indicating the actual path the character took and the actual path he will take when I replay the motion. Okay, let's switch to only walk. Now the arrow will stay green while we slowly walk our character around the set. Okay, looks good, except that, yes, you're running him into the bench, thank you. And even though I back him up, you can still see I ran him into the bench. Now, let's set up the playhead and select only run. The arrow will be red. And 
drag the character around our set and watch him bounce and run and jump like any movie zoo character would and this time he ends up in the right spot okay there's many times when we need to coordinate the movement of more than one character for example Helga and Joe we want Helga and Joe to end up at the bar at the same time the way we recorded it Helga ended up there first Joe is late now sometimes we just want them to run beside each other but in this case we want them to end up at the bar at the same time so the light blue movement bars will slide along the timeline let's look at Helga first okay move her to the right I want her to the right of the camera cut good now she is indicating the correct timing so I want to line up Joe with that okay yeah move Joe until his movement ends at the same time as Helga's Okay, let's go back to the beginning and run it. Okay, wait. Helga walks towards the bar. Joe is standing. Joe is waiting as Helga is walking. And then Joe now starts to move. Since Joe is running, he arrives at the same time as Helga which is the way we wanted it. So you can see that we can slide the pre-recorded movements along the timeline to help coordinate uh, movement among other characters or multiple characters. Uh, another uh, possibility for character movement is move on the spot. It's a checkbox on MovieZoo and uh, here's a couple of characters doing move on the spot with certain sets it works very well as like this one and then as I pull away you can see how the set actually is set up okay you can move movie zoo characters downstairs and upstairs with this cowboy moving downstairs was easy. I had an easy time with that one take. There it is. It took many takes to move him upstairs for some reason. I don't know why. I finally settled on this one where he ends off, off the porch. But I selected the cowboy and moved him to his right to change his ending position. So that's adjusting the walk path. And then this was the result. It's acceptable. It worked. So a basic rule of choreography and character action is to set up the character action the way you want it. And then Use your keyframe cameras and camera positions to record the action. This camera's moving up the path looking for our star who's coming the other direction. The camera can see the star coming closer. The camera moves back to follow the star and follow him and follow him until he walks out of the frame. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to subscribe and comment.